So when I was thinking about starting Click It Up A Notch, I vividly remember standing in my kitchen in Japan and calling up my best friend and saying, I'm gonna start a blog and, and I'm gonna make money from it. And then after a couple of months, my husband and I were talking and he just said in passing like, oh, you know, it'll be nice when you go back to work when the kids are in school. But I was just like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going back to work. Like I do this now. And, um, and he was like, well, let's, let's think that went through. And so I said to him, I'm committing to myself. So I will not quit. And I was like, I want to try it for three years. Growing up, I just wanted to be an elementary school teacher, and that is what I did. I made my friends play school. I was that one who, at the end of the school year, I'd ask the teacher for all her extra supplies. Like, that was always my dream, is just to have children and be an elementary school teacher. When I finished teaching fifth grade in Mississippi, we were moving, and I was talking to my husband, and we both just decided I would just take a break, take some months off teaching, and then you'll go back, but then we got pregnant. So I was like, no, oh, I can stay home now. And it was probably after my second daughter was around one that I started realizing that um, you don't get the validation you get from work as being a stay-at-home mom. Like nobody's like, you rocked changing that diaper today. Oh my gosh, like no one changes a diaper as good as you change a diaper. I started realizing like I need something for myself because just being Kate's mom or Emma's mom, you know, started to feel like, not that it wasn't enough, but just like I really need something for me. Shortly after my second daughter was born, I started a Project 365 where you take a picture every day for a year. And I started posting these pictures online and I started realizing like, oh, this photography thing is really fun. It's not only fun for me, but it's a great way to connect with other people. I was doing the project with a handful of other girls at the time and, and there were people I've never met and online and we would just comment on each other's pictures and ask about each other's kids and celebrate each other's pregnancies. And I had one girl in particular reach out and she was like, I'll pay you to teach me how to do this. And I'm like, well, that's silly. You don't need to pay me. I'll just tell you. And I started getting, you know, this thought of like, oh, there's an interest and I love teaching and I love photography. Like I could put those two together and, and just get to help people and still learn about photography and I get to still teach people and it's kind of the best of both worlds. So I think the turning point when I realized like this was something is in 2013 I wrote an ebook and I didn't know how to launch it. I didn't know anything and I just shot my email list an email. I was like, I wrote an ebook. Do you want to buy it? And it sold and I couldn't believe it. And I remember saying to my husband like I sold X amount of this ebook today. And he was like, it's just a PDF. I was like, I know, it's crazy. Currently, most of the money for Click It Up A Notch is made through, I have two ebooks, and then I have two online courses. And then I would say those make up about 75% of the income, and then the other 25% is through affiliates, um, working through joint venture webinars, or just mentioning products through the website. So my business today, definitely makes more than I ever made teaching. In fact, every now and then I'll say to my husband, like, okay, this is how much I made this month. I wouldn't have even made close to that teaching, whereas I feel like teaching requires a lot more time. Um, you know, it's a, lot, it's a lot of stress. And so that's been a huge thing for us to realize, like, wow, this business is, you know, financially beneficial to our family. The hardest part about running this business is learning how to be a mom and a business owner in your own house and figure it all out because you only have so much brain space and sometimes I find that the business takes up more of my brain space than like the mom activities. Like I might have accidentally sent my third kid to school on picture day covered in markers because I forgot it was picture day. And so it's figuring those things out. I have committed to myself not to do any work before they leave for school because it's very easy to start your day off and check your email real quick and make sure, you know, oh, somebody needs this. And so I, I have had to put restrictions on my time, but you know, I get the kids out the door and then I start working for a bit. And then once the kids come home from school, it's, you know, typical mom stuff, like shuttling them around to their activities and making dinner and helping with homework and reading and playing games. and. And that's what I love. And then we put them to bed and then my husband and I hang out and then we start again the next day. And, and I just try to make sure that my business hours are during the day when most of the kids are at school. So that way, when they come home, I'm ready to go into my next job of being a mom. Being a blogger means to me setting my own hours, getting to do what I love and getting to 
do what I love outside of my life too. Being able to do work that I love lets me live the life that I love and being a blogger has helped me create that because I get to teach photography, I get to make an income for my family, and then I get to go on vacation or shut down for a couple weeks and snuggle up with my kids. And so being a blogger has just given me a lot of freedom. My name is Courtney Slaznik. I'm a teacher, I'm a photographer, I'm a wife and a mother, and I'm a blogger.